Damn, I don't know if this is going to be in there. Yeah, it's last time. Ooh. Hi, my name is Micah, and I am in my early 20s, making me 21. That means I am one step ahead, even though life is not a rat race. But I've reached a point in my life where glowing up and leveling up is my main focus. And you should too. Let me tell you how easy it is to change and lose sight of yourself. Just in the beginning of 2023, I was at a moderate weight where I felt a little uncomfy, but still looked right and tight. A year later, in my eyes, in my eyes only, I look completely different and I hate it. But it's not a bad thing that I hate it. So again, I'm glowing up and you should too. Here are some things that I'm gonna be working on. And I'm gonna be doing that while I do my skincare. Cause I don't even need to say anything about what y'all just saw. First of all, let me talk about what I got for my skincare. I bought a refrigerator. Yes, I bought a refrigerator for my skincare. I have been wanting this for a long time. And I was just like, you know what? Oops, sorry. I hope you guys can hear that. I have been wanting this skincare refrigerator for a long time. So I was like, you know what? I deserve it. Let me go ahead and buy it. And I did. I bought it from Walmart. And I have some goodies in it. I'm so excited to use everything. Of course, we're going to start off with washing my face. The product that I use to wash my face is the Clean and Clear, the Night Relaxing Deep Cleansing Face Wash. I like this one because it doesn't dry my skin out after I'm done using it. I use that one specifically. I use this little brush from the dollar store. Our face is clean, but of course, you know, we could use a little razor to the face, but we don't have one. So it's okay. We're using what we can work with. Back to today's topics. Here are some things I'm going to be working on in the year of 2024. I'm going to be working on my oral health, physical health, and just, just my health overall in general. Now, I, I'm going to say it, I gained 30 pounds in one year. <gasps> and no, it is not because of my diet. I don't eat anything different than what I did last year. And those who know me know that I eat cleaner than anyone else that they know in a lot. Sorry, I forgot to put the microphone on. So I hope you guys heard me. I'm just going to repeat it. Here are some things that I'm going to be working on in the year of 2024. This year I'm going to be working on my oral hygiene, physical hygiene, and just, just my overall health this year started the year off like 170 i ended last year in the 200s like right at 200 not that not that broad of a difference but the difference when you're used to looking so, a certain way and fitting all of your clothes i have not been diagnosed this but my mom have it and my little sister has it so it's like it kind of like it's not apple don't fall too far from the tree I, undiagnosed, have PCOS. Oh, no. And of course, like, oh, why would you diagnose yourself? Go to a doctor. I don't have insurance. So I'm just going to reference my mother. If my mother has PCOS, then I most likely have it also. Not to air my mommy's business out like that. I'm so sorry, mom. But, like, I'm just using you as a reference. So my mom has PCOS, and I'm her daughter. I kind of feel like it's inevitable, and that's okay. That's something that can be fixed. And because I have PCOS, it makes it harder for me to lose weight. I use the rest of this hyaluronic acid that I got from the dollar store. So now we're gonna use sunscreen. This is the black girl sunscreen, but it has Halle on it, period. But, um, oof. That's a lot. It's okay. PCOS obviously runs in my family. And it makes it hard to lose weight for those who know, like for those who have PCOS, they know that. Just like a normal diet. I'm gonna require more nutrients in different areas. That's my main goal for this year, to eat according to my period and 
essentially heal my PCOS. Ooh. So nice and tacky. I love that. Now we're going to go on with the ordinary um, natural moisturizing <laughs> moisturizer. Because we have TikTok now and like different social media, that type of knowledge is now, it's not mainstream, but like it's more accessible. Knowing that I have PCOS, okay, let me do a little deep dive on it. Of course, let me mention this. It's not the fact that I don't want to go to the doctor and figure out what's going on with me. Don't you think I f***ing tried? So don't try to be in my comments trying to be all funny. Oh, you need to go to a doctor. You can't safe diagnose. Mind your business. I did go to the doctor just to explain. Going to the doctor in America without insurance is 10 times higher than having it with insurance. So we got to figure out some things for ourselves. The moisturizer I'm using is the Pond's moisturizer. By eating my health better, I can lose weight and reduce the bloating that I have from having PCOS and just being a natural bloater. So I did some research and the best way to essentially reverse your PCOS or heal it, it would be to eat according to your period. People don't know that it's four phases in a cycle, like in a menstrual cycle, it's four phases. Your ovulation phase, luteal phase, funicular, and then your menstruation. That's four phases right there. And it could be in between the 28 day and a 31 day cycle. But with having PCOS, it is majority of the time, your period is gonna be irregular. And that was a concern for me that I recognized the end of last year, the end of 2023, that my period is irregular and that's not normal for me. So of course I went to the doctor, tried to figure it out. Like I said, she did not care about black people. So that was a dead issue right there. I have to figure it out on my own because I don't have insurance. Also in the realm of physical health and hygiene, I'm going to be doing my skincare more because I know that taking care of my eczema prone skin is essential. So I need to take, I need to put time into that. Some other things that I would like to implement is like shaving more because I can go some weeks without shaving and I end up forgetting that I need to. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a long process. Shaving more is important to me because I'm now in cosmetology taking care of my hair and my nails and like my feet. Y'all, I got a pedicure after a few months. I wish I could show you how cute my toes are. I probably just implement a little video. My toes are so cute. I love it. That pedicure felt so nice. I needed that. So still a part of the previous hygiene categories, but this is the next topic, physical hygiene. I would love to work on how I look physically, which of course, you know, to start within. My physical goals are to get out more, to be a little bit more active. Not to say that I wasn't active because I started working out consistently in October. I've been working out, that's about five months and I don't see a change. It's good to have an idea of what's going on with you hygiene hygiene goals honestly i feel like i've mastered my hygiene goals i know what i need to smell good all day and not either smell like of course because of vagina leaks pee um or poop like i just took it, you know or musty because i do smell like a red onion sometimes just well not now but like when i was younger yes i smell like a i just took a red onion and just started you know the purple deodorant that you can get from the dollar store. I brush my teeth every day. I just haven't brushed my teeth yet because I was doing my skincare. And then I use bar soap to clean my body. And then I use um, body wash to go over that. So I feel like I'm pretty good about that. I have, I use lotion, of course. And then I use, if I want to smell good, like all day, I also use body glaze by Canvas. So... You know, I have a good body system going on, if that makes sense. This is a real important one. Mental hygiene. Mental hygiene is very important to me because I burn out quickly. So whenever I decide I want to do something, I go all in, head, head first. And you know, it's, that's not a bad thing, but it, it can be for many reasons. One, I burn out. Two, I actually don't like what I'm doing and I didn't put all this hard work and effort into something that I actually dislike. And three, I get tired of things fast because I'm not the type of person that sticks with one thing at once. 
I need to be doing multiple things to really enjoy myself. My mental goals are to now slow down, actually enjoy the things that I do. And of course, learning that is going to take time, which is why I'm taking time to do it. Whenever I come from school, because as you guys know by now, I'm in college, I take the time. Like the first, okay, let's say I get out of school at three o'clock. The first two hours, I take that as me time. I'm quiet. Just, I'm most likely in my bed looking at the ceiling. Or I take like the tiniest power nap. You know, I just need to regroup my energy. So I do that. You know, whenever you're interacting with people, sometimes you tend to give all of yourself at once and it's draining. And now I understand that I cannot give everything that I have without being my best self. So without being the best for myself first. Is what I meant to say because I tend to put everything on my plate at once and overwhelm myself. Yeah, I do. I take the time out of my day, whether it's between five or ten minutes, and I listen to some sort of sound or my favorite album or favorite music at that time to bring myself together. I like to take time out of my day to indulge in myself, whether that be between, like I said, between five and ten minutes or up to two hours. Because sometimes I come in my bathroom and I do my skincare. And I do like a, a mini massage on myself or I don't do anything at all. I could just be like, well, I don't feel like doing anything today, so I won't, which is not often, maybe once out of the week. And I turn my TV on. I just lay down until I fall asleep. That is self-care for me. Some, th some things I, I try to put intention into. And if that means I need to rest that week and not do anything, I will. Like this week, I know I was supposed to do chapter four. But I knew mentally I wasn't in the right head, head space for it. So I didn't do it. I didn't want to half-ass it. Because if I half-ass it, I'm not going to pass the class. And the goal is to pass the class so that I can get my associates and arts degree. That is important to learn to balance work, myself, and my mental health. Recently, guys, I've just been, I have a yoga mat that I got from my school. And just put that yoga mat on my balcony and I just... No music at all. Sometimes with music, I just sit outside, let the winds hit me, looking at the clouds. That is intentional for me. That is an intentional mental regroup for me. The majority of the time, my goal is to do that on the days that I have school. Because like I said, I'm consistently giving my energy to people. And by the time two or three o'clock comes, I am energetically de depleted. The next topic of hygienic goals that I am trying to achieve is my financial hygiene. Girl, let me tell you. My finances towards the end of 2023, it wasn't the best, but that's also because I didn't have a job. So, and I still don't have a job, but now I do have a little extra money to hold on and I'm going to be getting money from different things in my life, doing tarot readings because I did that. I got my first reading. I'm so excited about that. I made my first $20 off readings just in the past couple of days. So I'm happy. I do taxes. I'm going to be working the election polls, so I got some money coming in, y'all. This is also like mental hygiene, but I'm also going to say it. I pray over my finances. I pray over my finances. I sure do. I mop my floors. Say whatever finance, blessing, ritual that I want to say over the water that is divinely guided by the Lord himself. And I mop my floors. And I pray every day, God... What's the best that can happen to me? That's my goal, to continuously affirm that I have money. And not get triggered when I see the balance dip a little bit. I have money. I have money. I am rich. Period. By affirming good to myself. But we're going to affirm good on our finances all 2024. Stop saying you're broke. Okay? You just may have been in a financial deficit. But now we're in a financial surplus. Okay? Period. That also goes with my financial hygiene. I'm going to be budgeting because I tend to overspend when I'm sad or I just need to get out of the house. Yes, I am going to be budgeting, especially because I have grown woman bills now. I have an apartment that, ha that needs lights, Wi-Fi, water, all of that. So I need to be smart about my money, essentially. And I, of course, I have like a specific amount of money for my bills. Cool. No problem at all. I planned that out and now I don't feel as bad spending because I know what money is going towards what bill. That's my financial hygiene. 
And last but very not least, creative hygiene. That is so important. I feel like the creative hygiene also goes with the mental hygiene. If you do not take care of yourself creatively or express yourself creatively, you can burn out. Believe me when I say this, you can burn out. If you are not doing anything that requires you to put your hands on something and be and not feel bad about it, you are going to be unhappy. It is not fun being depressed because all you do is work, eat, shit, sleep, and repeat. That is not living. If that means you can just go to the park once out of the week, lay out a little picnic blankets and then get some paint and paint or color, do that. That is something for yourself. You need to have a hobby. Hobbies are important. Yes, you know, some people feel like they can't afford to do those things. Some people may even have two jobs, but you need to take time out of yourself. Of course, you're not going to have time if you're not going to take time out for yourself. You need to make time. No one's going to give you that time. You need to make time for yourself. So get out there creatively, okay? I started posting my content back in October and I was doing like different cosplays and makeup looks. And I haven't done a fun makeup look in a while. A lot of times I do my makeup just to go to school or whenever I'm going out or some days I don't do my makeup at all. And I just, at least maybe on the days when I'm off of school, I can do a fun makeup look. On my Instagram and my TikTok, I have like a saved folder for like fun makeup looks. So I'm going to be doing it. I do know that for a fact that a lot of these hygienic um, practices that I plan to indulge in are not going to happen overnight. I know that for a fact, which is why we can do this journey together. I give you a month update. So this is my month update. This is the start of the month. So today's the 18th by March 18th after my spring break trip with my family you will get another update so it's just like i'm excited i can't wait to show this with you guys i'm going to actually start back vlogging in the gym and everything because i used to do like tiktoks and shorts but i stopped doing it because you know i wasn't happy with how i was looking but like i know i need to put myself out there to make someone else confident so i will so be expectant be happy change your mindset if you guys need to i will link some some of the things that i listen to to change my mindset i'm not gonna say this video is different because you always see me in my bathroom and in my bonnet of some sort but please enjoy yourself be safe have a good day and if you're not having a good day don't go out there messing up anybody else's ass on t tab would say if you like this video please leave a like comment and subscribe Comment down below if you would like to see more content like this or if you enjoyed today's video. Turn the bell notifications on because I post every Sunday at 1.30. This time you won't be seeing that on a Sunday, but I post every Sunday at 1.30 just to let you know I'm punctual and that you will be seeing me at this time. You have a good day. I love you. Be safe. Bye.